Welcome, viewers, to this special episode of Invisible Legends Reimagined, where we shine a light on unsung heroes past and present. In today's tale, we follow one courageous frontierswoman taking on danger in America's Old West, the legendary stagecoach Mary. So settle in and enjoy this thrilling frontier adventure. The endless Montana sky stretched out in hues of crimson and amber as Mary Fields prepared for the day's journey ahead. As she harnessed the horses to her trusty wagon, she caught a glimpse of the sheriff riding towards her small cabin, his brow stitched with concern. "'Morning, Mary,' he said, dismounting his steed. "'I'm afraid those river bandits have been causing all kinds of grief along the Missouri. Robin travelers even went after the Stevens family farm just last night. It ain't safe for regular folks anymore.' Mary set her jaw, her deep voice steady. "'What those cowards need is someone willful enough to teach them a lesson, which is why I rode all this way to ask a favor of you, the sheriff replied. You're the only one I know ain't afraid to take them on. We desperately need to transport emergency supplies to Helena, enough to last the town through winter. Would you take the job? Mary lifted the heavy sack of mail onto her wagon without a second thought. Be happy to. I'll get your cargo to Helena safe and sound. With supplies loaded, she climbed onto the buckboard seat and set off across the open range. The endless grass rippled like waves on an ocean as she traced a path along sparkling streams that fed into the racing Missouri River. As the day wore on, she kept a watchful eye for any sign of the bandits lurking amidst the rugged coolies or wooded thickets along the riverbanks. After miles with no trouble in sight, Mary decided to give the horses a rest. Dusk now approached and she still had a long journey ahead through treacherous territory. As the horses grazed, she kindled a small fire and warmed up a pot of coffee. Suddenly, she heard a stick crack just beyond the ring of firelight. Before she could react, three armed men with bandanas over their faces emerged from the thick bushes, guns aimed right at her. Hand over them goods you carrying, Missy, snarled the largest of the bandits. And while you're at it, give us them horses, too. In a blur, Mary grabbed her rifle and rolled behind the wagon for cover. A barrage of shots exploded around her. Taking a bead on the tall bandit who'd made the demands, she squeezed off a round and watched him crumble to the ground. His two cronies unleashed another round of gunfire at Mary's position. The supplies took a few direct hits before Mary could line up her next shot. Like hell if I'm going to let any of you going be riding off with my wagon or these supplies, she hollered before letting loose another crack shot. Her aim was picture perfect once more, dropping one of the remaining bandits where he stood. The last one glanced nervously at his two dead partners and made a break for the woods. Mary drew a bead on him too, but a sudden click rang out as she pulled the trigger. Her rifle was out of ammo. And stay out if you know what's good for you, she yelled after the escaping bandit. She waited, listening intently until she was satisfied the threat was gone. After the flurry of gunfire, an eerie calm blanketed the riverside camp. Gathering the rifles from the dead bandits as trophies, Mary fed a few more logs to the dying embers of her fire before harnessing up the horses to continue the trek. She had supplies to deliver. As she drove on, the landscape became increasingly unforgiving. She navigated narrow cliffside trails with perilous drop-offs that plunged hundreds of feet to the rocky river below. Lone wolves howled mournfully under the cold light of the full moon. Then the first snowflakes began to fall, sparse at first but soon whipping into a furious blizzard. Mary wrapped herself in an extra wool blanket, forging ahead at a crawl through the punishing winds. She refused to jeopardize her cargo or disappoint the townsfolk depending on her. When the winds finally died down just before daybreak, she found herself surrounded by an eerie silence, snow piled four feet high in every direction. The horses plodded on slowly but steadily as Mary kept them on course. She breathed a grateful sigh when she caught sight of the frontier settlement of Helena in the distance, smoke already rising from the chimneys. Her trying journey neared its end. The sheriff himself greeted Mary's ice-encrusted wagon as she pulled into town later that morning. Townsfolk helped unload the precious cargo of supplies and took the exhausted horses off to be fed and watered. Though Mary said little about her brush with danger, word of the bandit attack spread quickly in admiring whispers. Over the next few weeks, travelers emerging from the backcountry reported that the notorious river bandits seemed to have disappeared entirely from the territory. With their leader dead and their gang shattered by a certain fearless frontierswoman, the bandits' reign of terror rapidly faded into tall tales told over campfires. When Mary finally returned to her small cabin outside Cascade, she found the whole town waiting for her along Main Street. The sheriff stepped forward through the murmuring crowd to meet her. Mary, I think I speak for all good folks here in Cascade when I say you're a genuine hero for what you did. We can't thank you enough. 
He motioned for two young boys who carried a large sign to come forward. As they planted it in front of Mary's cabin, the crowd erupted into raucous cheers and applause. Mary just shook her head, a reluctant smile pulling at the corner of her mouth as she read the bold letters of the new street sign. It proclaimed, Stagecoach Mary Street for all to see, honoring her steadfast courage no matter what frontier perils she faced. As afternoon shadows stretched long over the dusty thoroughfare, a young Plains Native American girl dared approach the notorious Frontiers woman. They say you bested three ruthless bandits all on your own, Mrs. Fields. That passing on of courage, she mused, might just be the most enduring legacy this old Frontiers woman could leave behind in the wilderness she tamed. Wherever there was new territory awaiting brave souls yet unknown, the spirit of Stagecoach Mary would be there to light the way. And there you have the legendary story of Stagecoach Mary Fields, mail carrier, bandit, and wolf slayer, and tireless frontier pioneer. Be sure to let us know your thoughts on Mary's epic showdown in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe to Invisible Legends Reimagined for more retellings of America's forgotten heroes and their incredible adventures. Until the next episode.